hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as i mentioned in the previous vlog we're gonna be doing a lot of diy in today's vlog i'm gonna be doing the display cabinet that i showed you guys in the previous video if you haven't seen the previous video which is vlogtober episode one please just go and check it out so that you can get a bit of more context but um what i picked up today was some cute goodies to show not goodies but you know what i mean like some cute decor items that i will be displaying in the display shelves because of course what is a display shelf without some beautiful ornaments and beautiful objects to display right so i went to pep home sheet street and i think that's about it oh pna as well for the paint and i picked up a few things so we're gonna get we're gonna get crafty i just want to show you guys because a lot of this stuff was like really really good like really affordable i'm very excited i wasn't expecting to find half of this stuff so with the diy that we're gonna be doing i've got some bicarbonate of soda we're gonna be transforming them giving them a bit more of like a high-end look making them look a bit more unique and different you know as you know with home decor you really want to make it your own and you really want it to say a bit about you and to just look different and unique and not look like everybody else's house you know so um i saw that trick with the acrylic paints and bicarbonate of soda here on youtube and i'm gonna try it out myself so I like some neutral paints. I just got three small neutral paints. Where's the other one? I think I should have unpacked everything to start with. That would have been a good idea. Okay, let me unpack everything and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm so hacked. I bought three of these acrylic paints from PNA but now when I check they only have two I don't know what happened to the other one but anyway maybe it's for a reason maybe I was gonna ruin them with the other one because the other one was a bit darker than this so I don't know I'm sad so apparently what this is supposed to do it's supposed to give your acrylic that like rustic texture to it like that whole high-end kind of look i'll include a few pictures just to show you what i'm talking about so in the pottery in the pottery stuff from pep home i got these how beautiful three of them how beautiful are these these were all from pep home and I was so shocked to see them. I think they are so beautiful, high end. They're giving me Zara home, you know, H&M home. They're giving me those vibes and even like more high, like proper high end um, retailers. So this one was $69.99. And then this one I think is also $69.99. Yes, this one's also $69.99. And then this bigger one is $89.99 which i want to change the color of these because my display cabinet is already going to be black so i'm going to change the color of these to like a more neutralish color something like this and then i also got this one from pep home as well and this one was on sale for 79.99 i just want to see what it originally was okay so they took off the oh here's my other acrylic <laughs> here's my other acrylic girl i was so upset because i'm like no way i know i paid for all three of them so what happened to the other one anyway here's the third acrylic it is a slightly darker shade than the one that i showed you earlier actually no yeah they're more or less the same -ish color i really can't tell the difference if this will and it's probably not going to show up but anyway this one as well this one um i don't like i like the shape of it i like 
you know it's got that whole modern look to it that we see at like i've seen it at Cory craft and i also popped into mr price the other day and they had a lot of these beautiful vases these like um what do you call like abnormal abnormal not abnormal irregular <laughs> irregular shaped type of vases and objects that just give that whole modern feel so um i don't really like how this i think it's more like a porcelain type of thing yeah it's more like porcelain type of um material so i want to give it like a more rustic kind of look and feel and then i also got this from sheet street and she was on sale honey she was on sale 440 rand i think she's so beautiful she's definitely gonna add a bit of pizzazz a bit of je ne sais quoi i'm gonna obviously paint her as well from black to give me that nice contrast with the display unit that will already be black i don't know what color i'm gonna use but still in that neutral beige-ish whitish family i'm gonna just have fun and mix these colors all together actually we're gonna do that together just now okay and then i also got this from pep home and this was 59.99 i think it's so pretty i think it has a lot of potential i want to change the color of this wooden thing and just make it black. I think it will look nice black against gold. my instruction manual i've got my tools laid out grouped together and <clears throat> i really don't know what i'm doing but please wish me luck so like this is the painted blouse just two of them and i'm really loving how the black look it looks against um the wall color so yeah so far i am happy
you guys and now i don't know what i'm doing here and i think it shows i'm so confused and how hey guys it is day two or three of our diy vlog and i'm deep within diy and it's not looking good okay i'm starting to get a little bit nervous if this is gonna come out as planned or if the vision is gonna be executed as planned but yeah i'm really struggling i made the decision to do this on my own not have any handyman or anyone help me i really wanted to challenge myself and just to see if i can really do it all on my own and wow i haven't even been able to clean today look at the pain on my face i haven't been able to clean or anything like i just woke up in the morning and just went straight into it um and then i figured like let me not clean because if i clean i'm just gonna make a mess and then i have to clean again so let me just do this um assembly i've already painted all of the pieces black so and they've dried that took about a day to fully dry so yeah today's just assembling and honestly i do take my hat off to all handymen and uh, carpenters and all those people who do this on a daily basis it's really not easy it is so so difficult especially as the first time i've never ever assembled a piece of furniture ever before so i'm really really seeing flames but yeah um i will check in again when i have another update i just got back from picking up um the birthday boys cupcakes for school tomorrow i think they're so cute the theme is blues clues i know if you're a mom you are all too familiar with these i think they're so beautiful and i got them from um this supplier definitely very happy and yeah I have no issues absolutely love 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 and the birthday boy is also so excited about them so i'm happy hey 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 guys i'm just checking in we are still on episode two of vlogmas and it has been such a hectic week i've been such a terrible vlogger this past week has just really been hectic it was my son's birthday hey, and yeah just i fell off track with a lot of things you know like just the way i was eating was really unhealthy i was eating cake and you know like really indulging you know it was that the spirit you know and in there also i kind of fell off my routine and then also at work it's been the most hectic 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 work week for me like there was just so many things that could go wrong went wrong and i had really tight deadlines at work this week which i you know unfortunately i just could not run away from i could not even take like a few minutes to vlog anything but anyway um i know you forgive me and thank you for forgiving me but yeah at least now let's continue with the vlog so today's saturday it's actually saturday evening um i spent it's around 16 29 i spent the greater part of today just cleaning doing laundry washing rugs like i was fully fully in my domesticated era <laughs> today like that was the focus that was the theme of today Kimamati, tony braxton Gibluza, you know like i was in my fills and just cleaning and yeah before i knew it it was like four o'clock and i had not even taken a shower or anything 
So I've just now finished taking a shower. I'm about to pop out and I'm gonna go to Chickas and quickly get a few groceries. Uh, but then before I go, I wanna show you guys, we're still on the DIY. This is still very much a DIY um centered vlog <laughs> so i just want to show you guys a few of the pieces that i'm thinking of using in our diy display shelf um i looked i didn't really buy a lot of things i bought like very few things and i decided what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shop from around the apartment like i'm gonna shop the apartment and move things around switch things around take things from other rooms and you know um that's how i'm gonna curate or decorate or yeah whatever that's how we're gonna style the shelves so let me just show you all the pile of stuff i mean i might not even use everything that's there but it's just a pile of options that i'm gonna likely choose from Okay, so these are some of the pieces that I've kind of gathered around that I'm thinking of using the display shelves. A lot of the stuff is DIY and I got things from different areas. I got some stuff from the kitchen, like I got these serving bowl. These are from Pep Home. I got these last year around Christmas time. Um, I think they look so beautiful, rustic, unique these were only like 59.99 and i think it's gonna look very nice in you know against like the black so these are regular shaped bowl also coming through with like the neutral um element in terms of color i really love these i think they're gonna be beautiful stacked like on top of a coffee table book and then this I got from Sheet Street. It was only $39.99. I think it's so unique and I think it's really cute. Um, very nice and small, dainty. It's got a unique shape. Just to add to that visual interest. I can't believe it's only 40 Rand. And then if you remember these DIY babes, these four, all of these four are from Pep Home. Um yeah i think i did mention the prices already on a so yeah the other stuff this you've seen already that i don't know if i'm gonna use this but i like how it's got a bit of green it's got a bit of the neutral tones it's got a bit of black and then my oh man i'm so hurt i'm so hacked this statue's head fell off or this i don't know what it's called it's not a statue but her head fell off while i was busy trying to diy her i so regret because i ended up just taking her back to original color um instead of like making her like the clay pottery type of thing um but i think i want to use her as is i mean i could have just glued her head back on but i'm deciding i feel like she just looks interesting without her head i don't know i i don't know i'm gonna see how it looks obviously on the shelves but yeah um and then this i painted this diy i'm so proud of this because i was literally just playing around it cost me zero it cost me literally no money i used some card paper and then i also used some leftover spray paint not yeah like i didn't have to buy spray paint i just used spray paint that was already bought um and then just painted some strokes on it like it to get that you know the whole abstract um black and white type of thing so i really really love how this came out i'm definitely gonna definitely gonna put that on there and then this wine rag thing i there's a section on the display shelf that is the exact dimensions of this so i want to take that and sort of place it there i want to yeah and then like put some wine so instead of having the wine in the kitchen now i'll just have it in that corner yeah um and then this thing for candles it's like a candle holder um 
i will try and find like a nice neutral candle hopefully today or tomorrow that i can put on here because the ones that i have um i don't think they are neutral enough they're not what i want yeah and don't mind this this was already on the table this is probably not going to be part of it but i might use this and yeah i'll definitely use the books i really wish i had more books but hey guys guys god will provide so like if i happen to run out of objects because this is not really that much but i also feel like less is more i feel like that's my style that is i like the whole minimalistic minimal minimal uh, mini mil yeah I like the whole minimalistic aesthetic that is really what i'm into um so yeah i don't want it to be too cluttered i also don't want it to look vague like empty also you know so i want to try and strike a balance so if you know i do see that unfortunately it looks still a bit um empty like there's not enough objects on it then i'm gonna have to go out tomorrow and see if i can buy some extra few nyana pieces just to fill it up because i do want to finish with this i don't want it and obviously it's like an ongoing thing you're gonna be constantly decorating constantly updating constantly moving things around you know getting new things um replacing the objects like as time goes but i still really i still really want it to be as complete as possible for now if you get what i mean so yeah guys let me go it's this weekend's weather is so wet it is saturday the is it 15th i think 15th of october yesterday we had a bit of um splashes of rain which i was so grateful for i thought we we're gonna get like full-on rain and i was like disappointed to see that it only basically drizzled so today it looks like it's actually really gonna rain i'm standing by the window so i can see like it's really yeah it's promising it's promising that we're gonna finally finally get some rain maybe we can also like get to cool down a bit because wow it's been so incredibly scorching hot so yeah guys before i ramble on for too long let me quickly go to checkers hey guys happy sunday well it's sunday for me but happy monday to you if you're watching this monday tuesday wins i don't know but i hope you are having a great day it is sunday and yesterday when we caught up i was saying that i'm going to get some grocery items and then come back and style the shelves <laughs> that didn't happen i ended up coming taking so long at the shops i don't know why but i only got to come back like late over my 6 p.m which was like way too late and way too dark to film any content so yeah i'm gonna film it now i'm gonna start styling the shelves right now uh what was cool about yesterday when i was out grocery shopping i bumped into one of my beautiful subscribers i just forgot to ask what her name is but it was so nice because i've never really bumped into anybody unless it's people that i actually know i've never bumped into an actual stranger who says i recognize you from your youtube channel or whatever you know so that was really really cute and i did tell her you know thank you so much for coming and saying hi because that was that was nice that was really really nice um, it was really nice to meet her hey girl if you're watching this it was really nice to meet you and yeah so um without wasting more time guys let's let me start styling these shelves 